In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own rhinestone nipple pasties as part of my nipple pasty tutorial series. I'm Emily, I'm an artist. Here's a weird thing that I made. I'm gonna be using these rhinestone sticker sheets that you can get at craft stores and the dollar store. Now these stickers come with an adhesive backing, but depending on the material of your pasty base, you may wanna use a hot glue gun or another adhesive. You're also gonna to want to watch my video on how to make nipple pasty bases, as I'll be using the buckram base for this pasty with a faux leather top. Now it's really important to do a test with the material that you're using for your pasty to make sure that the adhesive that you're using is gonna keep that object there. I know that for this faux leather material, hot glue isn't gonna work, so I'm just gonna be using the adhesive that comes on the rhinestones. For this pasty design, I'm just going to arrange rhinestones in a variety of colors and sizes across the pasty surface, but I know that I want a lot of the pink to come through. I just really like that color and I think it complements the sort of glittery aspect of the pasty. A great thing about using these rhinestone stickers too is that you have a little bit of wiggle room. If you don't like the placement of something, you can take it off and rearrange it. Nothing is set in stone, even though they are rhinestones, but they're not real. Now that I've finished applying the rhinestones to the bases and they look really nice and even, I'm going to be thinking about what to do with the outside edge. I think pasties look best when there is some sort of perimeter, so I'm going to use this string sequin trim and apply it right to that outside edge. To do this, I'm going to be applying hot glue to the back of the sequin trim and I'm going to start with just tacking down that first sequin and I'm going to be working again from the behind and I'm going to be applying hot glue to the sort of threaded pieces of the sequins, trying really hard not to get any of the hot glue on the sequins because they are plastic and they will warp. Once you have a line of hot glue on the sequins, I'm going to coil it around that edge, making sure that it's getting in contact with the basey and again, burning my fingers in the process, but hey. When you make it all of the way around, I'm gonna cut it off, leaving a little bit of excess string. I'm gonna remove a couple of those sequins to expose the last little bit of string so that I can secure that with some hot glue as well as the last few sequins there on the line. This part's a little bit finicky, so just be careful when you press that in. I like to just sort of move that string in to tuck it around the back. And there you go, we're finished. I think the sequins give the pasty such a nice finished look, but you can use any sort of trim that you like. I made these silver pasties using a variety of rhinestone shapes, and I used those rhinestones to complete the edge instead of a trim. For these pasties, I used a variety of rhinestone and pearl sticker sheets, and completed it with an inch and a half of white fringe adhered to the inside. Honey.